Brian Rourke here at Filex 2011, and I'm um, really lucky to have a friend, Justin. How you doing, man? JT Active Management. A lot of people tell me he's the social media guru of, uh, of Australia Fitness, so I'm, of course, thrilled to visit with you here. And um, been able to visit with him a few times. He's, of course, involved with Rourke's Roundtables as well. I'm curious, uh, but thanks for making time. Um, I'm curious, tell me about what your views are on the Australian fitness industry, health club industry. What, what do you see going on in the industry? Oh, really exciting times. You know, it's a really exciting time to be in the fitness industry. Uh, we've got new players coming in. Our chains are, are really starting to fund themselves to be able to do expansion. So we're seeing much more expansion. Uh, independent health club owners are coming to things like this to get more educated and they understand things about that's happening in the industry. So that's really cool. Um, however, I think the biggest challenge is we're still not really penetrating into that general population of the Australian base. You know, we're still at 15%. We could be a lot deeper. We just had a session just then where we had uh, eight people who are non-gym goers of all generations. And it was interesting how many of them said, I just don't have time to exercise. And their perception of what a gym costs and their perception of what personal trainers were. It's phenomenal. It was a really interesting session. So I think from our industry perspective, it's exciting because there's lots of new players. Um, there's a lot of energy in the industry, but I, I'm not sure if it's directed energy to be getting the people that we need to be getting into the clubs to reduce the healthcare costs for Australia. Yeah, we, we of course experience very similar dynamics in the States. Um, so why do you think that is? I mean, is it messaging? Is it marketing? Is it, what, what, what is it? Is it how we deliver uh, the service? What, what is it, a combination? It was interesting listening to these people today. Um, it actually, it was fascinating because they said, uh, it doesn't matter what you put on a marketing piece, that's not going to get me through the door. It's like, wow, <laughs> wow. Well, what's going to get you through the door? They all said, if their doctor said, you need to exercise, then we would join, and join a gym. They all said we join a gym straight away, which was fascinating. I've never heard that. To be, and they were that blunt. If the doctor says, join a gym, I'd go and join a gym straight away. Mm. Fascinating. Um, also interesting that uh, they all said that they would Google first local gyms in their area. That would be their search that they would look. And the other fascinating thing I found was that 80% of the panel said they wouldn't call the gym. They'd just walk in. They'd look at it online. If, it was, if online it said it was the right place, then they'd just walk in. They'd never call which amazed me. I thought they'd make ring up first. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, it was, yeah, it was fascinating. Right. So you, you uh, do a very good job uh, in utilising social media and, and as you're the expert in Australia on the topic. Uh, I, I have to correct you here, Brian. <laughs> Self-appointed expert. <laughs> That's fine. Um, and I love your website and your content. Uh, tell me, what, what do you see in social media in, in Australia and the fitness industry in general? What, what do you see happening there with facilities? To be honest, I see a, a, a very strong correlation between Australia and the US. Uh, and that correlation is they don't get it. Uh, and I heard this the other day and I thought this is a brilliant description. Social media is not a marketing medium. Right. It's a relationship builder. Right. And I think health clubs and personal trainers are still thinking this is the way I'm going to get new members. And so they're just pushing sales messages out, sales messages out, sales messages out, and not pushing education, not pushing um, rapport building, not pushing uh, trust building activities. All they're doing is still pushing. So they're using it as another medium to yell at their customer as opposed to embracing their customer and saying, come on in, I'll, I'll look after you first, then you can become a member. And I, and I just see it time and time again. Yeah, you're right. We have the same problems in the States. Well, listen, I really appreciate you making time after your presentation. And uh, I know, uh, you know a lot of people will be looking at this uh, uh, video. It's been a wonderful experience at Filex, and especially being able to spend time with you. A real pleasure. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you. So Thank you for coming. Right. Really appreciate it.